Hello, dear boys and girls. Welcome to our online English school. Today, we are going to talk about telling your address and continue learning prepositions of place. Let's start our lesson by watching a video where Sam learns to write his address. Please watch carefully. <sighs> Can you help me, please? I can't write. Sure. Let's see. So the first word is name. What's your name, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Sam Bird. B I R D. Right. Next. Age 32. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not 32. I know. Twelve. OK, next question. What's your address? I know it's Old Farm. What's next? My address is Old Farm, 49 West Street, North Town, HA6, 4EK. Wait a minute. Can you spell North Town? Sure. It's N-O-R-T-H-T-O-W-N-H-A-6-4-E-K. Thank you. Now, what's your phone number? It's 0 7 Six, four, three, three, two, two, eight, one. What's your email address? It's Sam Bird at Old Farm UK. The next exercise we will read again the phrases and find the suitable answer. For example, on the first question, how old are you? The answer is, I'm 12. Let's listen and write the right answer. Let's go. Read and match. How old are you? What's your phone number? What's your address? What's your name? What's your email address? I'm 12. Sam Bird. It's Old Farm, 49 West Street, North Town. It's Sam Bird at Old Farm UK. It's 076. Four, three, three, two, two, eight, one. So, how old are you? The answer is I'm twelve. Let's see. Okay, what's your phone number? I guess this one. All right. What's your address? I guess it's here. Yep. What's your name? Of course, I'm Bird. What's your email address? Okay. Well, let's check. Yes. All is correct. Okay. Here we are to practice our listening. In this exercise, we need to listen and choose the right answer. Listen and choose. The first question. What's your name? Asks. What's your name? Here we have three options. Number one, 12. Number two, Sam Bird. Number three, 0764332281. Oh, 
From all these three options, the correct answer will be number two. Same bird. Let's start. You will listen to other questions and I'll give you some time to think and then we answer together. What's your address? What's your email address? How old are you? What's your phone number? Now, let's check. All are correct. Good job. Last lesson, we were learning about the prepositions of place. Between. In the middle of. In front of. Next to. Opposite. On the left of. On the right of. Above. Now, let's repeat the new prepositions. Between. In the middle of. In front of. Opposite. On the left of. On the right of. Above. Good. How about some examples? My laptop is between the bed and the table. My chair is opposite the window. There is a nice picture above my bed on the wall. On the right of the door, there is a TV. Can you try? Good. Thank you. All right. It's time to play a game. In this exercise, you see a room with some missing furnitures. On the right, there are those missing furnitures. So, I want you to put the furnitures in the right order as you listen to the audio. My room is very nice. It is not very big, so there are not many things there. There is one brown table and two white chairs. So, the audio says there is one brown table and white chairs. So I take white chairs and put it next to brown table. Like this. Let's start. My room is very nice. It is not very big, so there are not many things there. There is one brown table and two white chairs. On the left of the door, there is a wardrobe. On the left of the door, there is a wardrobe. I take wardrobe and put it here. That's right. The green cupboard is just next to it. There are many books on the cupboard. Many books on the cupboard. So I put it here. Good. There is a bed near the window. The bed near the window. Yep. The bed is yellow. There are some posters and pictures over the bed. Pictures and posters over the bed. Interesting. I have a blue carpet on the floor. My room is quite original and cosy. How about your room? Let's check. All are correct? Thank you. Well, today you've learned how to tell your address and learned the new prepositions of place. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Goodbye and have a nice day.